Hello, in this video we have this for fusion with two problems. The first one is the engine is overheating and the second is the HVAC is not blowing hot air inside of the cabin. As a background of this, we replaced the thermostat and before that we did not have this problem. Now what most likely happened is that at the moment to fill the antifreeze inside of the system, we got some air inside of it and that air is making this problem. In this video we're going to show a simple process that we can follow to fix this problem. Just for your reference, I'm going to show you in this video how in my meter I can see the problem that I have with the engine having overheating. That is the problem. We can see now how the gauge is saying there is an overheat in the engine. I'm going to turn it on now. What we're going to do now is uh, turn on the engine. If your car is manual transmission, keep it in neutral. If it's an automatic transmission, turn on the car and change from parking to neutral. We're gonna rev up the engine above 3000 RPMs, if possible 3500. And we're gonna keep the car in that way for 30 seconds. After that, we're gonna turn off the engine, let the car rest for about 30 seconds a minute. And in the meantime, since the engine basically will still cold, we're gonna check the level of the antifreeze. And if it needs, we're gonna refill it. So, Let's turn on the engine. We rev up for about 30 seconds. What we're doing with this basically is get rid of all the pockets of air inside of the system. Okay, 30 seconds already passed. So now we turn off the engine, check if we need to refill coolant. And now we're gonna turn on the engine and let the car to reach its normal operation temperature. Okay, now that we have the engine warm, what we're gonna do is rev up the engine 3000 or 3500 RPMs for about 30 seconds. And then we're gonna let the car idle for about 30 seconds and turn off the engine. And we hold the engine like this for 30 seconds. That's it. And we keep now the car in this condition for 30 seconds again. Now we turn off the engine. We'll keep the engine off for about one minute and we're gonna repeat this process. Turn on the car, rev up the engine at 3000, 3500 RPMs for about 30 seconds and then let the car idle for 30 seconds and then turn off the car for about a minute. This process will be repeated about three, four times and I will say in the second or third time, turn on your HVAC Try to see if you can get hot air inside of the cabin. If that happened, the, process, the procedure is working. And I will say repeat this two or three more times, just to be sure that all the pockets of air inside of the engine cooling system are out of it. Obviously, if in some point while you're doing this, your temperature gauge says that uh, the engine is overheating, turn off the car, let the car rest, and then start the process again. Well, I repeat this process six times. Now, um, 
my car is not overheating it has been on like for about 20 minutes I have no problems and my HVAC is blowing hot air inside of the cabin already so it seems that the problem was fixed but most of the time this um, procedure works I hope it worked for you um, as a final step I will recommend turn off the car and once it's completely cold check the antifreeze level if needed refill if not we should be fine then and again as I said I hope this procedure works in your car and thanks for watching the video